Take a look at this close and very crisp look at the Tesla Cybertruck, friends. Yesterday, Tesla displayed its long-expected Cybertruck at the stockholder meeting, and a YouTuber, Gregor Truck, took a clear, crisp walk around of the truck from the back and one side. But this walk around shows some very interesting hidden details that I want to talk about in this video. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so you don't miss, guys, my my next Tesla or electric vehicle coverage. First, it looks like there is a button on the B and C pillars to open the doors of the Cybertruck. Now, this could be a capacitive sensor, but I wonder how it works in cold weather, especially if the owner has gloves. Some people say that they are still hoping that there will be a bench seat front in the Cybertruck, but that seems less and less likely. That's half the reason I wanted the Cybertruck, so that it could sit six people, writes one user in Tesla Reddit discussion board. Now, what's interesting is that in the case of Tesla Cybertruck, friends, we see a very kind of silly concept vehicle going to make it to production essentially unaltered essentially without much change. And Cybertruck is already a mainstream vehicle that should sell in high volume, not a brand boosting stunt. Another hidden thing we see in this video is that it provides a nice view of the inside of the sail panels. Looks like there is some storage there accessed from inside the bed. It looks so good in my opinion, but one person suggests to take with grain of salt, of course, but I last heard that the sail panels are gone because part of the rear wheel steering components now take the space. So what do you think about that? Now look at the corners of the Cybertruck. It keeps, um, I keep thinking that the corners on the window are going to be a liability issue. Even watching Elon get out of the truck during the lithium refinery groundbreaking it looks like he almost took his eye out from the door's upper corner what do you think about that yet another interesting thing we noticed has to do with how tesla placed the windshield in the cybertruck the windshield seems to have a bit of curvature in it why not completely flat Surely that should be a cheaper to make, right? But others say it looks completely flat to them. They add that the bottom edge is a curve similar to the curved nose. So what do you think about that, friends? Anyway, this is very interesting, looks very close and sharp. The Tesla Cybertruck could potentially start production in the coming weeks, friends. And Tesla has been spotted testing some increasing more refined prototypes that are getting closer to the production version of the Cybertruck. Tesla was spotted testing the Cybertruck's suspension on its Fremont factory test truck last month. The latest information released by Tesla puts the start of Cybertruck production this summer for the first first deliveries at the end of quarter three, 2023. Are you a reservation holder? What do you think? Have you heard anything that your Cybertruck is on its way by the end of this year? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to this channel, ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. Let me know your thoughts about this video and like it if you can. And let's move on to our next story. You are seeing possibly the very first Tesla Cybertruck off the production floor at Tesla Giga Texas, which made a surprise appearance ahead of shareholder meeting. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. The Tesla Cybertruck has made a surprise appearance at the head of the Tesla shareholder meeting today. Today's Tesla shareholder meeting was said to be one of the most exciting events of the year for Tesla. Not only the, uh, did the event take place ahead of the highly anticipated launch of the Tesla Cybertruck, but also ahead of two substantial upgrades coming to the Model 3 and Model Y Project Highland and Project Juniper, respectively. Now only building further anticipation, the Cybertruck has made yet another public appearance with some wild rumors circulating about the nature of this video. The video of Cybertruck was first published to the Tesla Cybertruck Owners Club Forum earlier today, but has since made its way to Twitter, garnering thousands of views in its short time on the platform. The video shows the truck driving inside what looks to be the Giga Texas facility and then being lifted by a crane to the top of a display platform. Unsurprisingly, neither Tesla nor Elon Musk has commented on the most recent Cybertruck video, nor any previous, likely only building anticipation 
anticipation for announcements on the truck coming soon. With the Cybertruck being lifted onto such a visible platform, some believe the truck may be part of the shareholder day decorations, which makes sense to me. Still, as noted in the video, the truck itself may be more significant than it initially appears. According to the video, this Cybertruck is the first model to come off Tesla's pre-production line, which while feasible cannot be verified at this time. So it isn't entirely outside of the realm of possibility that this truck is the first to come off Tesla's pre-production line, complete with casted internals and closer to production ready paneling and speculations. Just yesterday, some of the first Cybertruck front castings were spotted in drone video coverage of Tesla Giga Texas, conspicuously labeled with the letter C, which I reported um, in this uh, in my report uh, earlier yesterday. Now, this year's annual meeting of stockholders comes after one of Tesla's most notable quarters to date. In the first quarter, the company produced over 440,000 electric vehicles and delivered over 422,000 vehicles. That's new record for Tesla, though it was one that was achieved following notable price cuts to the company's vehicle lineup. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are you excited? Cybertruck is almost here. A new type of truck for you guys. How many of you are guys uh, Cybertruck reservation holders? And have you heard anything from Tesla new about about the possible delivery of your cyber truck later this year. Please let us know in the comment section below and let's move on to our next story. This is how Tesla Cybertruck's production line at Giga Texas may look like. I have seen this image yesterday by Twitter user K10. Obviously, this is not a real production line, but an imagination of a, uh, a painter. But she has shared this image saying, imagine seeing this on Giga Texas factory tour. So this is like how it will look like. Just look at the hardwood floor on which Tesla Cybertruck is being built. Isn't it interesting? But we will very soon see these things because I believe in a month, within a month or two, we will see say, the Cybertruck starting going into production. What we have heard from Giga Texas that uh, Tesla is already testing the production. Yesterday, I reported that front metal castings that are reportedly meant for the Tesla Cybertruck have been spotted at the company's Texas Giga factory by Joe Techmeyer, who flew his drone around the facility in Austin on Mother's Day and posted a set of photos as well as a video of the whole flight. A couple of the huge metal castings have been labeled with a big C, hinting at the possibility that they are intended to be used on the Cybertruck. Furthermore, at closer inspection, it looks like the parts include both front wheel wells and connecting piece that will presumably be attached to the firewall of the truck. In the meantime, we're seeing that Tesla Cybertruck testing has expanded to public roads in Texas for what appears to be the first sighting of that all-electric pickup on street outside of California. When I reported the story yesterday about uh, spotting the front castings, you know, one of the uh, you, our Torch News YouTube channel followers said that he works at Tesla Giga Texas and that they have started uh, testing in the uh, Texas areas, different parts of the Texas as well. Since the Cybertruck truck has neared production, Tesla has been testing the vehicle on public roads since earlier this year. All of the sightings thus far have been in California, especially in the northern portion of the state where the company's operations are mainly located. Tesla used to have its headquarters in Palo Alto, which is where the earliest sightings were located. With the all-electric Cybertruck being produced in early versions of Gigafactory Texas near Austin, it has been interesting to note that there have not been any sightings of the pickup in the lone state set. At least until now, a video courthouse uh, uh, courtiers of Dennis B on Twitter actually shows the Cybertruck on public roads in Texas for the first time. Tesla has routinely started testing vehicles that are heading toward imminent production on public roads and the Cybertruck project has been no different. Although the vehicle is late to initial production, Tesla seems to be gearing up for the first units to be built potentially this summer and delivered in quarter three. While all of the testings up to this point, like I said, has been in California, this is the first sighting of the vehicle in Texas that was not for a dedicated event. Lastly, 
week, Tesla launched its lithium refinery with a groundbreaking event, and CEO Elon Musk arrived in a Cybertruck, and its appearance was eventful, um, to say the least. However, testing has now expanded closer to where the vehicle will actually be produced. What does this mean exactly? The details are more speculative than anything, and Tesla remains relatively tight-lipped in terms of the development and production schedule of the Cybertruck. We do know that Cybertruck production lines are up and running inside Gigafactory, uh, Texas, based on the photographs the automaker shared during its most recent earnings call. And what I showed you earlier, that photograph is just an imagination of an artist. We also know that based on the number of different units we've seen thus far, there are quite a few um, prototypes, floating, uh, prototypes of Cybertruck floating about, which design will make it to production still seems to be up in the air, but the cleanest versions, one of which was spotted uh, at Investor Day, is most likely the ideal candidate to go for full production as the final version of Tesla Cybertruck. So are you excited? What do you think about all of these things, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from Torque News. Let's move on to our next story.